everyone. So I think I have cracked the optimum solution when it comes to the lighting. I've set it up in somewhere different and I really, really like the lighting here. I feel like it just looks really clean and really crisp and the colours are really true to life. And I'm super, super pleased with it. So definitely let me know what you think about it because obviously you're the ones that are watching my videos, so you're the ones that matter. But today we're going to talk about slimming a round face. Now it kind of sounds like you're saying something negative if you say a round face, but I have got a round face. Something that my brother very kindly likes to dub my moon face, which basically means that I just don't have much facial definition, I've just got quite a round face. Now, um, face shapes obviously vary dramatically, there's loads of different types of shape, face shapes, but I feel like with my face it's kind of round up till about here, and then here I have got quite a kind of pointy chin and quite an angular jawline, but I don't have kind of much cheekbones, and it's not so much that I don't have cheekbones, because if I stuck it in you can see there is quite a lot of definition. The problem, it was well, not the problem, but just kind of how it goes with my face is I've got a lot of cheek. So I've got, if I smile kind of properly, I've got a lot of cheek. I've got kind of chubby cheeks sat on top of my cheekbones. So it's kind of difficult to see. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I do like to kind of sculpt my face and give my face a slimmer look because I just find it much more flattering and it makes me feel more comfortable. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my kind of top tricks and the method that I use to make my face appear slimmer. These are really, really easy, very natural looking tips. There's no kind of Kim Kardashian style contouring with foundations and highlighting concealers and all that business. Very, very easy, very quick. The products I've used um, just happen to be very, very affordable, but you can do this with pretty much whatever you're using. I doubt very much you're going to have to go out and buy something completely new because it's very easy to just use what you've got in terms of um, the shades and that kind of thing. You just need a bronzer, a contour powder. You could use the same if you're using a very light bronzer. Your favourite blusher and some highlighter is optional, but it really does help to create the illusion that your face is going upwards, which helps to create a slimmer illusion as well. So I'm going to insert the footage now of me applying it and how I get my face from looking a little bit chubby to a little bit more sculpted. So the first thing you want to do is to really look at the shape of your face. And I've obviously got a very round face. My kind of chin and jaw is sort of smaller, but I've got kind of a very round cheek area. My forehead isn't massively big, but I haven't got very pronounced cheekbones and it's my cheek area really that kind of um, is the roundest. So I use a couple of tricks. The first thing you want to do is to really look at what brushes you're using. Now I have got a classic bronzer brush. I like this because it's kind of very rounded at the tip so you can really get a nice application with it. This is from Blush Professionals but you can buy these from loads of different brands. And I'm going to start applying the bronzer on one side first of all. And for the sake of this video I'm going to use the sleek contour kit. I never use this as a contour because it's too dark. I'll talk about that in a minute. But as a bronzer this shade is really nice. It's just a matte shade. I always go for matte. It can sometimes be nice if you just have a little bit of shimmer in it, but on a daily basis I always go for a matte bronzer. And this is a nice kind of dark shade. So what I do is I get some onto my brush, swell my brush in, tap off any excess, and then do it in a kind of three motion. So starting on the outer part of my forehead, taking it onto the tops of my cheekbones, which might look a bit weird, and then taking it down onto my jawline. So you kind of go like that. You don't want to get it into the absolute hollow of your cheeks, which is here, because that's where we're gonna put the contour. This just helps to kind of sculpt your face and add a little bit of shape and a little bit of color as well. And I find applying it on the jawline and under your chin really, really important because it really helps to kind of disguise any double chinage. And um, double chinage, is that even a term? Um, it's something that I really struggle with. I don't like my kind of under, chin area, I feel like it always looks really weird. So getting a little bit of this and just buffing it down there really helps to kind of create shadow and disguise it a little bit and you can probably already see it kind of just helps to give your face a little bit more definition. Now for contouring exactly um, where you want it, you really again want to look at the shape of your face. So if you kind of put a fish face, everyone's kind of goes down lower down and I think that's the problem a lot of people tend to contour it too far down but I find that with my face shape if I just suck my cheeks in so just kind of bite the inner part of my cheek like this you can see where the top of your cheekbone is so the tops of my cheekbones are quite high but the problem is it's not right in the middle my kind of lower cheekbone is much um, lower than most people's and then the tops really quite high 
So you have to kind of really look at your face shape, get a small mirror and really, really look at your face shape and see where you want to put the line. So I am just gonna get a matte brown shade. Now this is really important that you pick a matte shade and this isn't actually a bronzing shade and this is a really good tip in general. This is actually a powder and it's the, the MUA powder in shade number four. Now having it in a shade um, that's kind of very matte and very light is really, really important because you don't want it to be orange. You don't want there to be any um, of a bronze effect there. All you want is to kind of create a shadow and to create a slimming effect. So I'm going to use a contour brush. Again, this is from Blush Professionals. You can get these from everywhere, but a nice kind of thin contour brush that can really get in is really helpful. And get some onto my brush. And then I am going to look in the mirror while I'm doing this because it will just make it a lot easier for me to kind of show you the exact location. But if I suck my cheek in like I showed you, I just, in circular motions, start applying it. Now you don't want to take it too far down because if you take it too far down, what happens is you end up with a kind of dragging effect and you make the face go downwards. You don't want that. You want to kind of create a nice lift and definition in the face. So I'll then just take a little bit more. You don't want to take too much, but as I said, if you pick a nice light kind of shade that's within your skin tone rather than a bronzy shade, you'll be fine. And then again, just look at where you're putting it. And in round circular motions, just kind of put it till about there. Don't take it lower down because it doesn't look right. And then just take a little bit again on your jawline to really emphasise that part. So you can probably already see the difference between this side and this side where I've applied nothing. It really, really does help. And then another thing that's really important is the location of your blusher. Now, it really depends on your shape, on the shape of your face, where you're going to apply your blusher. But if you have got a round face, applying it onto the apples of your cheeks, so kind of here and here, doesn't work because it just makes your face appear even rounder. It's really important to kind of apply it higher up. So I'm going to show you what um, I use to do this. And this is just a cream blusher. This is the MUA cream blusher in Lush. I'm not sponsored by MUA or anything. I just happen to be using these products at the moment. So I've got a little bit on my hand. You could do this with a brush again, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to just apply this onto the high point of my cheek. So on this area, and then just blend it in with my hand rather than applying it onto the kind of middle of your cheek, which is where you normally would, because this just helps to create lift, and that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to help create a nice lifting effect, because that always slims down the face, and you can see kind of how it already looks like this part of my face is going upwards, whereas this part isn't. And then if you wanted to apply some highlighter, because that can really help, again, to create that lift, um, I would go for something like this. Again, this is MUA. It's just what I'm using at the moment. These are all fairly new products, so they're what I'm using. But this is the Undress Your Skin Highlighter, which I really like. And I'm going to use the same brush, the contour brush. Normally I'd use a fan brush, but it doesn't really make much difference. You just need a smaller brush. And put it onto the top of your cheekbone like this. And again, it'll really help to create that kind of pretty sheen and it'll help to define your face. So hopefully you can see how this part of my face looks much more lifted and sculpted compared to this side of my face. But these are the tricks that I use and they really, really do work. It's a nice technique of doing your makeup. It might look time consuming and complicated, but trust me, it's not. Once you've gotten used to doing it, it's really, really easy and it'll just become part of your everyday makeup routine. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you've got any tips and tricks regarding um, this type of thing, then don't forget to leave those in the comments below and let me know your favourite contouring technique as well. So I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time.